You excited to be here at Mike's today? Oh, you know it. <laughs> Hustaford! I finally am here! Hustaford! <laughs> Hustaford! Oh! Ford. Oh. I'm happy to be here! <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I was nervous. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about the uh, John's Red Chainsaw, the, the specific one that you used, you were just using. Is that, a, is that one built specifically for you for cutting the little details or is that... Uh... No, I was sponsored by Steel and this uh, representative from John's Red brought one of these chainsaws out. It was a 2159. He was cutting with it and I says, what'd you do different to that saw? Because he was whooping my steels. He says, no, I, I pulled it right straight off the shelf. He says, if, if I go in and pull one off the shelf, would you consider a sponsorship? So he went in, he got one right off the shelf. And no, these things with that uh, turbo uh, react of the air, uh, so they get like a double burn. It, there's a part of that saw that I don't even go to. It's like a turbo band in a in a motorcycle. You know, just when you need it, you can give that last quarter of a throttle. But yeah, that I compete often, and uh, now steels went more for the homeowner friendly. You know, a, a, a lighter, more plastic, um, easier to start. These here, these are still pros. They're still uh, they're still metal casings, uh, and. Just the other day, I was up against a brand new guy who had a steel sponsorship, and my saws are just blast. He goes, "What do you do different to your saws?" I said, "Nothing. I pull them off the shelf like this, and they're like a hundred bucks cheaper too. Just in in just about every CC category, the Johns is about a hundred bucks cheaper, and I literally beat these saws, and you can't beat them, you know." The World Championship in Fairbanks, Alaska, and they have a multi-block. Well, these blocks are huge. They're four feet wide, six foot high, and six foot long, and you get ten of them. They're just, they're, it's like pulling up to a 7-Eleven parking lot and all the minivans are yours, carve them. We've got six days, you know. So I went up there with a team of three, and uh, there was four of us. <laughs> you should have seen this. We pulled up with these saws. We're like looking at this ice, and that whole parking lot's yours, you know. It, anyway, there's a... There was another competition going on there, and they had probably 50 people involved in it. So what's that over there? Well, that's the Olympic qualifier. And I'm like, what's, what do you mean? And, well, you get one of these blocks, four by six by six. You get two days, and the highest scoring USA team then moves on to the Olympics. So you got to be kidding me. There's an Olympic event in ice <laughs> sculpting. And I, I, I was broken hearted because yeah. I had backed into it, you know. Now it's four years, you gotta wait before you get another opportunity yeah. before that happens again. So it happens this coming year up in Fairbanks, Alaska at the World Championship. They have the wow. Olympic qualifier. So yeah, I heard it on that radio interview yesterday and it was telling Steve where we're neighbors and uh, he didn't, didn't know anything about it either. So I says, yeah, he goes up there from Alaska down to Florida, you know. Oh yeah. I hope they're gonna televise that. Uh, you know what? They, if you go to World Alaska, uh, uh, World IceAlaska dot com, they show all of the past years uh, uh, the competition. But when you're there at the competition, they show it in real time. Uh -huh. So, like all my family members and everything had it on their computer the whole time. They're watching, uh -huh. you know, this, they, they, and they film it, so you can stream it the whole the oh, whole time cool. I'm up there. Oh wow! Yeah. Huh. Better write that on your calendar. But boy, I tell you, there's some, there's, and then the, the, all of us ice sculptors that went up there, we know the judging criteria has um, uh, the use of your ice. Did you use all your ice? So we did. We used all of our ice. Well, these <clears throat> fellows from Japan, they only used half of their ice. But almost immediately, they were sanding it with 400 grid sandpaper. And they sanded that ice to where it was hard to discern it from the, the sky. <laughs> you'd, you'd have to stand and look. You know, it's like looking through a glass, like a, a, a plate glass, and trying to see a figure sure. in it. You know, sure. it's, it was amazing. You must. You you're obviously eyeballing it. Do you do you draw or uh, how, what do you draw from and and your artistic skills? Because that's uh, if I was to try something like that, it would just look like uh, a block of wood at the end. Is all it would look like. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing what you do. Well, I, I think to myself what I want to do, like if I'm doing eagle, bear, owl, I kind of come up with what I'm going to do, or maybe somebody's giving me a picture or something. But okay. I, uh, I start at the top, uh, work my way down. Uh, if I have more room, then I do 
longer legs or maybe even put in something else like like here would be a, a field mouse would probably be pretty cool in this but you know at some point you run out of room and and so you just go to there but uh, okay. drawing no I don't draw I, I I've always been a lousy you know artist so to speak as far right. as drawing but that's why I like this this is like a dyslexic type art all other art you're adding and adding it whether you're adding clay or adding lines uh, this is just the opposite you're taking away to leave and the first time I ever seen somebody doing this I just knew it clicked I can do this I know I can do this but I couldn't draw you a, a stick figure you know it's amazing it's amazing and tell me again about the chainsaw and the the detail because you're able to get in there like you're making the little the claws and the and the feathers the feathering uh, mm -hmm. that that John's read that uh, is it, that's a specific one. It's got kind of a pointy uh, oh, yeah, yeah. bar to it. Tell that's, me about that. That's really the only trick to this whole group of saws is they sell this. That if let's see if I got it here. Hold on a second. They sell three different kinds of bars. They sell a dime bar, a nickel bar, and a quarter bar, meaning they turn on that that circumference. Let's see here. Let's see if I got a nickel handy. I don't. But uh, they they. They have one that's a dime, turns on a dime, and then one that turns on a nickel, and then one on a quarter. I stay away from the dime ones because there isn't a roller tip here. It's just hard faced. So they wear out, but uh, when they're dime like that, they wear out too soon. And they're like a $60 bar. So the nickel seems to be the best. The quarter, the quarter's good, but the nickel is, I mean, if you're going to get into it, that nickel turn is the way to go. Okay. Then it's a different sprocket and a different chain. This is quarter pitch chain. It's a lot smaller so it can make that quick turn on the end like that. And really that it's a difference between signing your name with a felt pin or a ballpoint pin. You can just turn real quick and like uh, turning with a jigsaw or a skill saw, you know, it's much different. <laughs> I've been doing the grizzly bear because it's a project I can do quickly and uh, you know it'll probably take me two and a half hours maybe uh, so you find it in there and so it'll stand like this and the head will be to the left because it doesn't allow it up here on the top it's got a soft spot right over here so that soft spot will come right down through here and then so I'll swing his head and then move him over so that that soft spot can finish running its course and, and then put him down like that. <clears throat> no matter where they're, no matter where the figure is, at about the distance we are, you want him looking at your eyes. So if it's, if it's a little guy like this, he's looking up, and if it's a bigger guy, he's kind of, so this one will be kind of looking down. About four or five feet away, you want to make eye contact. And you can see this carving before you do it, right? Oh, I've already carved it. It's okay. done. <laughs> How much? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.